You're welcome back. This news file is your most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on News File, we put Ghana first. And I'd like to welcome Emmanuel Kwesi Begra. <coughs> he is MP, Ho West, and ranking member, Works and Housing Committee. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Andy. Right. My other guest, Kukubako, uh, Dr. Dosai, and um, uh, Kofi Bento. Uh, Muto Akilu just left us. We're bringing in another person with deeper insight on the matters of housing. And you know about the Saglime housing project, a project that many have seen and have been, you know, um, have, been, have been mesmerized somewhat by many people when they drive past or they see the images about how beautiful uh, a city that is being created outside of Accra with so many houses but the story behind the project is beginning to suggest that there is some rot in there atachia who is the housing minister now is raising issues he's even suggesting that the place is not tenantable it's not ready for habitation so to speak even though the government uh, of the ndc had said it was almost done by the time they were leaving office the only uh, bill left to be paid was somewhere in the region of four million or so, uh, four million dollars to complete the whole thing. They say everything was ready. So why is it that we can't even have those properties at this point? Right. Um, what do you make and what is your answer to the claims that you can't do what we are hearing? That this was a project for 5,000 houses, was reviewed to 1,200 houses, and yet the amount of $200 million remained the same. Is that the, the fact? Well, thank you once again. Good morning to our cherished viewers, especially the good people of West. Today is my first time on News Files, so yeah. let me wish them well. <laughs> good to have you. Thank you, Samson. Um, first of all, let me put in perspective. Uh, I happened to be in Parliament in 2012, mm. and when the issue came up, some of us were asked to join a committee, a staff committee of Works and Housing and a Finance Committee, uh, with my professional experience to do what we call internal auditing of the project and see whether it's viable in the first place before we give parliamentary approval. Uh, so we did a technical auditing. We went to some of the project sites that the contractor claimed he has done. Uh, we looked at the cost, you know, the indicative cost, which is the main constructional cost. Uh, we did that, and uh, at the end of the day, we have noticed that building two bedroom house at a cost of $29,000 at that time was okay indicated cost of construction. And then the three bedroom at $57,000 was also okay at that time. That is exclusive of the internal <coughs> infrastructure, what we call site and services. So we gave our report and it was approved largely and therefore the resolution was also passed in parliament. That was in 2012. Um, as you all know, uh, during the process, you need to go through what we call proper design of the project. Uh, normally, when you are going through these phases, you have what we call just the initial design, and then you come up with what we call a preliminary costing, which is normally used. And then when you finish, you now do the proper design, looking at the site condition of, of the project. Now, the site condition will be determined by, by the client who gave you the site. So we all know Sagrima was given. Uh, ASL was also asked to become the consultant of the project. So they took over the project, they went to the site, did their site survey, noticed that the condition, the site condition at that time was not favorable because when you are doing the design, you don't know the condition of the site until you get to the site. So they did their, what we call the substructure design and, 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 and some changes came about. Now, with that, there's variation. Then government was supposed also to provide what we call the internal infrastructure, being the site and services, the road networks, the water services, to the site, electricity, all the site and services were supposed to be done. In any case, in every developed uh, area, when the two of you are into an agreement, you must provide something, and government provide, was supposed to provide those site and services. So the contractor was to do the infilling. That's the main construction and works, which we all know 
29,000 at that cost was okay. Was, yes, indeed, Parliament approved 200 million for the entire project. That includes the cost of construction, the consultancy fee, the bank rates, and you know what we call the, the normal transactional cost. If you are bringing a project, whoever is bringing a project will also take his, his cut from, from it. So all this were embedded in the 200 million. So it was for largely for 5,000 units. Right. That's what we all agreed on. Mm. Now, government was supposed to waive tax on the project so that the cost will remain at 29,000 construction and 57,000 construction. If government agrees, which we largely did at a later stage of the contract, we agreed that, yes, we are going to waive the tax, and parliament gave approval to that effect. Well, what we, I heard later on, and which came to Parliament in 2015, was that there was a review of the contract. Why did the review came about? The review came about because, one, there was what we call difference, differences in design, substructure, as I mentioned, because they did not have the full knowledge of the, the ground condition. So there was differential in the design. So there was a variation. There was a variation in the roofing. <coughs> Now, the initial roof, roofing was supposed to be concrete roof. Mm. Now, in our condition, in our uh, you know, environment, you can't use concrete roof. You must use other roof. So the design was initially for concrete roof. Now, when ASL, that's the consultant review, they realized that they have to use additional roof on the concrete roof because of the design structure. Now, so there was an additional cost by the ASL. My understanding was that this were all communicated to the ministry because they are their consultant. So there was a review. And the review also includes the internal road networking, drainage works, services, you know, and, and so on and so forth, which were also factored into the new review. And that review was to procure or provide 1,500 <coughs> units of the housing. So we call it amended restated agreement, which, which was done. So when we were bringing the tax, amend, tax waiver to parliament, they added it. It was added to the tax waiver that this was what they were going to do, and that it has been reviewed downwards to 1,500. Apart from that, the contractor was to deliver and complete the project in you know, a certain period, and we all know that by the end, as it was reviewed, by the end of 2016, the project, the, the project will be completed. Now, there's the, the, another element was introduced by bringing in home uh, loans, Ghana home loans, to be an off-taker. And, and they provided some form of, of um, uh, arrangement where buyers who are interested would deposit money. Because the original framework of the arrangement was that we were to provide 5,000 houses. <coughs> the arrangement with the home loan fund, uh, home, Ghana home loans, and that of the contractor was to do it in phases. So the first phase, first phase was 1,502. Then whatever you, you buy is deposited in the, uh, that escrow account, which is used again till they finish the 5,000 unit. Now that was the arrangement until we got to where we are today, where portions have been completed, monies have been paid, and we have not yet reached the, the 5,000 units. Two weeks or three weeks ago, uh, the minister came, we called the minister, that's the Western Housing Committee, called the minister to find out what really was happening. And he indicated that he would take us to the site. So we went to the site as a committee, that's both majority and minority. We went to the site, and we noticed that a lot of, you know, you could see from the, 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 the pictures that most of the houses have been completed. At least we have close to about 624 units completed. Something, now, something and he says over 1,000 completed. Okay, I will explain to you. Complete. When I say completed, practically completed, 624. Then you have additional one that have the various stages of completion. That's, over, that's close to about 1,005 of various stages. If you take 600, and 26 out of it. You have the rest at various stages of completion. Some they have even painted, but not 
completed for habitation. So I took my minority side to the site with press people and said, well, we have finished this unit. Why don't you take over? If there are issues bordering on, you know, uh, bordering on cost, why don't we resolve this one or the minister takes it up? Mm. But leaving the house to rot, I mean, the, I'm not... Can, you, can the, you explain why by 2016, before you left office, like something he tells us, they were left, government was left with just about four million to complete the payment. Yeah. And yet, the project is not complete. Good. And then, the new government comes in, a certificate is raised for 5.6 million, mm -hmm. is it? Yeah. 5.6 million US dollars. That and that is also paid. Yeah. Why, what's, what's, okay. what's the missing link? About F four million left, and yet we paid five point six million, and the contractor still has not finished the project, and threatened to terminate or has actually written yeah. to terminate the contract. Yeah. What's going on? Samson, let me explain to you. You know, like I mentioned, there was supposed to be tax waiver. Now, if the contractor pays tax on materials that he brought to site, it's supposed to be refunded. Unfortunately, he wasn't refunded. He was refunded only five million out of the, the whole 40 million. And he requested for 20 million, and five million was refunded. So he still has some money to be refunded. So it is not that they have paid the whole money, mm. and he, the, the refund was also given to him. He has not completed the project. So if that refund is still with government, then it means that the governments need to refund that money for him to complete whatever he's supposed to be doing. So you're saying government owes the contractor? Government owes the contractor in terms of tax waivers. waivers. But government does not owe the contractor in terms of the contract sum? No, no, no at all. No, not yet. Yet, yet, as you say, you have 600 completed out of 1,500. Five. Completed for habitation. Completed for habitation. Yeah. OK. Your explanation again, in brief conclusion, is yeah. that there is justification for the contract sum original yeah. to remain what it is, yeah. where you have reduced the number from 5,000 to 1,500. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was 1,200. It was 1,005. OK. Yeah. Yes, I, I explained that the justification mm. clearly simply has to do with the design. Mm. I mentioned design. Yes. Initially, the design was to just put up building. Mm. When the consultant went with the contractor, they looked at the design vis-a-vis -vis the site condition and decided to vary it. Site conditions or site uh, services site were not factored into at the all original, at the all, original at contract all, price? At all. At all. I see. So, and, and anybody, I mean, I'm a professional consultant. Any consultant I can tell you that 29,000 per building, per one, two bedroom house, was enough for construction. Okay. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> well, well, well. It's a technical area. What, what are the documents uh, you have on this? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Perusing them to try and get a little bit of education and information. But before I proceed, I, I'm not sure. You may have to clarify. Did you say that... Uh, the agreement or something was brought to Parliament 2015. Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah. July 2015. July 2015. Yes. There was a suggestion that didn't happen. Uh, no. See. Okay. And did it indicate the amendments? Did it indicate? I'll show you. Yeah. Because. Uh, from the Minister of Works and Housing at that time. Mm -hmm. Is it why? why uh -huh. Okay. Because I have here mm -hmm. the approval of request yeah. for waiver of import That's, duty, yeah. import VAT, all those things. Yeah to be imported and or procured locally under yeah. the agreement between the government of Republic of Ghana yeah. 
and Credit Suisse International mm -hmm. for the construction of 5,000 affordable housing units. Mm -hmm. My problem is this. This is dated 2nd December 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, this parliamentary service announcing okay. what had happened. That is the resolution. It's signed by Emmanuel Ayimedou, Ayimedou. clerk to parliament. Okay. And this, we are requesting for those import tax waivers and yeah. all that. Yeah. It still stipulated 5,000 housing mm. units. Okay. No indication mm. of a reduction. Okay. That's the point I'm making. Okay. You see, that's where my difficulty is. I understand all the technical thing you've uh, put forward. Yesterday, I was talking to some technical person. And I got education on that score, that the design and the, the soil, all those things. So, so I, I, and he, the person convinced me, I have to be honest. But I still had a difficulty okay. that certain amendments were done. And here we are talking again materiality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was not brought up you know, In terms of that solidity, I mean mm -hmm. the figures. Yeah. And even when they were requesting for the tax waivers, they were still talking using the 5,000. Not the 1,400, okay. not the 1,200. Okay. And that's where my worry is. Okay. Can you, can you can, convince yes, me? Yes, mm. yes. Sansu, can I convince yeah. him? Mm. Yes, well, please. thank God uh, yeah. he, he was convinced by a tanker person. I don't need to convince him the more. Now, I mentioned that the master facility agreement has to do with 5,000. Mm -hmm. So we all agreed that we're going to put up 5,000 units. Now, in the, course of the, in the course of the construction, we realized that we need to do some amendments. With that amendment, Home Loan Ghana Limited and Minister of Works and Housing and Minister of Finance agree that whoever purchases the house, the money should be lodged in an escrow account. That money will still continue to be used till we finish the 5,000. So you don't need to come back to Parliament for any agreement again until you finish the 5,000 houses. Ah, <sighs> my difficulty. Okay, so what you are looking for is this. When they brought this to Parliament, this is the, the restated agreement. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't have that. No, I do. Copy. I do. The restated agreement. Yes, is it, if you permit me, I can read. Read that three. Three times. Read that point. Read that point. The entire relationship of the parties from the past, present, and future shall be regulated pursuant to the terms and condition of this agreement, of this and in this in its contract document below, described below. For the avoidance of doubts, the relevant provisions of the original agreement are replaced by the provision of this agreement in this contract. Okay. Who signed this? This is signed. No, but that's... Mm. Is the know, validity of this we have to look at? Who, no, that, uh, that's it. No, so that's, who um, signed this? There's okay, a so problem. So the signatories are Alaji Collins, Zalda, Alaji Ziblim Yakub, chief uh, director at the time, Collins. What, what is the date? Um, this is dated... It, go, it, came, if I came with our 24th yes. uh, uh, sorry to cut it. But back. this is dated 2nd December. No, this is the parliamentary. Okay, I'll yes. show you this All one. Right. Because that's where the All right. main this key is. This is 1st of November. 1st of November. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, now I'm referring to a different yeah, document different. attached to okay. it. This, this came uh, with the GRA. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, so it's dated the 4th of January 2013. This is what has just been read to you. And it's side, signed by those signatures I just referred to here. Yeah, but I'm talking on the uh, document, um, tax weaver you have, request. You have others, others who also signed. These are not the only persons who signed. It's an amendment to an addendum. Which is, um, okay, so, so it's, it's an amendment. So we are saying to an addendum. They classified it as an amendment. amendment. That's how they classified it. So can they it. amend what parliament, parliament has already approved? So we are saying that, so we are saying. To that level of significance. Okay, so let me explain again. Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to catch mm. you, but you know, the details, we lose our audience, yeah. honestly. Listen, Parliament approves something. Mm. You are ministers, you are, you know, public officials, you are, you know, part of the presidency, etc. There's a limit to Which your mean? power. And this is where when things fail, then we citizens will have to take this to court and declare mm. the whole thing null and void. Okay, so, so the, the thing is that the Minister for Housing now is saying, and he says among other things, he says that Actually, they have suspected that this is dubious. The contract uh, and you know, what but is happening is dubious. Yeah, but why and did this administration too enter into uh, sign the third amendment? 
Mm -hmm. Why did they do that? that they did an extension for yeah. the contractors. Yes. yes. And then paid still quoting five thousand. <laughs> no. Now the figures are changed. Did yeah. they go to Parliament? No. Can the executive? Okay. I need to explain the education there. Um, yeah. no difficulty. Yeah. I've explained I mean. that. You see, the master facility agreement is mm. five thousand. Yes. So whether we like it or not, we must construct five thousand houses. Good. Uh -huh. mm. Now, in the course of construction, there has been some changes. Mm -hmm. and the change is that you have to construct 5,000, mm -hmm. irrespective of whatever. Mm -hmm. Let people procure it, deposit money, mm -hmm. use the money to finish the 5,000. Agreed. So we agree that the first phase will be 1,522. Mm -hmm. Then the second phase, whatever money has been paid, you use it to construct another you know, phase until you finish the 5,000. That is not looking funded. likely. That's, yeah, it's not, it's not looking funded. likely so that is at where, all. That is where, if the minister wants to go into it, yeah. The project is it's funded. not looking likely at because all. Because where you have, like Oku said, it's not looking likely. Because where you have 200 million, you have been able to, as it were, complete 600 as we speak. Mm. Mm. And, and 180 or so mm. of the amount has been disbursed. Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, we are left with about 2 million left in the escrow account from mm -hmm. what I have here. Only 2 million uh, yes. dollars. This is even dated okay. 31st May 2018. Mm. This Minister of Finance document. And they gave the figures, yeah. all that have been paid. And the loan, last right? paragraph says, yeah, right. we also it's a loan. We're paying for it. Mm. Yeah, we're paying for it. And we pay the contractor. We, yeah. we, we pay also the confirm that the balance so well, well, is held well, in the Bank of Ghana. Well, you can, you can listen to us. Let me, let me come to you, get yeah. your brief yeah. comments. Atachia says that um, we realize that dubious shortchange in terms of the contract sum and the delivery of the housing units and we believe that there are challenges of value for money analysis. The contract uh, was expected to have been delivered, and we know all of these uh, matters by end of 2016. He says that uh, they have actually referred this to the Attorney General for, the adv for advice. So where do you think we're heading to, Dr. Rose? Well, I think, I think it's good it was referred to the Attorney General for advice, because from the way Honorable Benjoa has explained the thing, in variation on account of design and the roofing, establishment of a revolving fund, uh, reviewing the entire arrangement uh, and all of that, suggests that there is a need for some legal advice to enable us to proceed. Exactly. So I'm tempted to agree with the Minister for Housing now, that we should, we should look at it well and rationalize it. On the issue of value for money, I am not a quantity surveyor, and I want to believe that once we set up a revolving fund, and then um, the initial costing was that $29,000 should be spent on two bedrooms. After the variation, what does it come up to? Are we still maintaining that $29,000, or it will go beyond $29,000? These are the matters and the issues we need to consider. Mm. But my candid opinion is that um, the minister has done the right thing by referring it to the mm. attorney general for advice. I think it has been too late in coming. We should yes. have done this thing long ago. We should have just rationalized the system so people can get the houses. Mm. But then it is better late than never. Okay. Kofi? Uh, I'm still um, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit confused. Mm. This tax waiver, mm -hmm. this one that was yeah. approved by Parliament 2015, and it, it talks of the 5,000. Mm. Yeah, that's what it says. For the 5,000. Yes. This waiver yes. was granted for 5,000. Yes. Mm. Now you are building 1,400 in faces, according to you. You're going to use the revolving fund from yeah. the Ghana homes. Uh, is it Ghana loans? Yeah, uh, Ghana, Ghana yes. home loans. So subsequent, when you get to phase two, phase three, because it was phase four, but it was raised to phase three, mm -hmm. to three, yeah. well, this, this uh, tax waiver was going to, I mean, it, does it take care of all the period, the so faces? If, so if you look at the tax waiver, it's about 40 million. Yes. And they request so was 5, it going to take, yes. For, for the, the entire project. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was going to take care of the third phase as yeah, well. Yeah, but when you have a front load in construction, it's, you it's, brought, it's also, no, let me explain. If you, we've if complicated you have, a simple issue. <laughs> if you have a front load in, where you have to bring equipment, the equipment, uh, the major you know, cost in construction that you bring in, and the materials. Now, the first phase, you don't need to import more equipment because the equipment is already there. So you have more of the task reverse at the, the first phase initial, than yeah. the initial stage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I asked, okay. this is a loan we are paying. Yes. They've been paid mm. to construct 5,000. Yeah. So this issue about the revolving fund yeah. really relates to people coming to own the 
buildings. Yeah. It should be totally separate from the completion of the project. And if okay. I was indicated so that home, home, is it the home loans? We are conflating they already two had things. We shouldn't be conflating. 5,000 people had already paid some money. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. By 15,000, yeah. by five had made some financial mm -hmm. commitments. Am so, I right? Yeah, that's, that's, Please that's educate it. me. Mm. See, we've paid 200 million. Mm -hmm. You have to deliver 5,000 units. Okay. That becomes our property. It costs 200 million. Now, to give it to people who have to come and live inside, they have to go and get mortgage financing. Yeah. So when they can, we can pay back that money. Why are we conflating the mortgage financing okay. with the financing that we need to deliver? Because my problem is not the mortgage financing. It's the delivery of the project. Okay. Project has not been delivered. Project has been varied. And clearly, the variations, I don't think, are legal, binding, Mm. Okay, it was or untidy. This it was totally tacky. Yeah, he says they were they were yeah. they were they were giving to Parliament, but Atachia suggested no. that no, there was no parliamentary. Yes. No, no, no. no. What, but what this, the evidence is here. Mm. It, it wasn't explicit. Okay. In terms of parliamentary business. Okay. No. It was just a bad. Deal. Maybe yeah. because yeah. I looked with legal eyes, but I saw deal. black and, and white. To, this is yes, illegal. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes when it's so clear, you ask yourself, "Am I missing something?" And I keep looking for what I'm missing. I can't find it. For me, this is so simple. We've taken too long, mm. way too long. So let's separate these issues. We are paying this money. And look, look, a black man is capable of managing his own affairs. Yes, but we go and borrow money, and we are going to construct houses with concrete, mm. brick and mortar, and we give it to a white man. And we can't supervise a white man to just build houses when we are giving him money. So okay. we can just go and live in it. Well, and now we have this confusion. And here they are, they are, they are rather terminating your contract. And they are, they are telling you all kinds of things. Very soon. And doing the very I don't know what I'm missing. You very soon That's why it, it, it has gone to the ages for advice. Very soon they'll be requesting for what? No, no. Very soon they'll be requesting for what? I see. No, but you should okay. okay. be serious with this. Mm. For me, but what my is, point. What is, what is completed? Your concern now is that we should get people to get in. At least. But the concern was that you may have created the environment for water and electricity mm -hmm. and everything to be brought in there yeah. but you have not Connected. done the connection mm -hmm. good good so what prevented us okay so government should connect. do that now that government was supposed to do in the first okay. place if the previous government has not done it that does not mean that you know succeeding government should not do it okay let's do it get people that is know. not a cost factored into at all the, the, the at contract. all but why wasn't it factored okay. because seriously if you want it if you want a contract or a housing unit that will be so ready that for people to go in. You need, need water. Wa wa you need water definitely. Mm. So I'll be surprised we did not factor this one in within the 200 million. Mm. So mm. how, well, how well are we expecting them to move in? Good question. Assuming government did not have money. So government should look for money elsewhere to do this connection to. So it's just it's like you are saying that, okay, the, the, the developer should also buy the land. Government's commitment was to, to give the land. That's yeah. That is sort past. of good. The and land was given. It's in an agreement. Mm. Yes. That's and also, okay. yes, so the agreement was that. So, so, so power. what do you say? What, whatever the situation is, we have the homes. 600 completed. We have close to how many? 1,005 more. No, Th that no, would be. 1,002. 1,002. Or? Thousand, no, thousand, no thousand, less. 1,003 or 1,001. No, far less than that. 800. Far less than that. 800, 800, 800 left uncompleted. We ought to pursue and finish all of that and also bring the water and electricity because they have laid all that requires to be laid. Yeah. The piping, everything, everything is, is sorted. Should, should the government do this immediately? Well, definitely. We should rationalize the arrangement. Mm. First, let us get AGs to give us the advice. Mm. To us, we're pursuing that. Let us also work towards getting our people to move in. Because we are paying the loan. We anyway. are paying yeah. the loan. In we are paying the loan. And yeah. this country has a history mm. of abandoning projects for mm. 40 years. Yes. So it can happen. The Confanochi children's it can children's happen. Okay, that was the reason uh, why I took Watin's campaign yes. to lead the first lady yeah. to lead a campaign to build place. a temporary Many place. Many of these housing yeah. units sometimes yeah. they are abandoned. If, if, if you read my statement, mm. I, I mentioned that we have abandoned housing projects. Seglemen is yes. one. Pong is one. Kumasi is one. But there are obviously are difficulties with Seglemen. Yeah, you, you no, know, only Seglemen. All of them. You see, but but th this should all of them. I'm saying that there obviously are difficulties with this. All of and them. You don't so expect, how come that Kumasi was not from the Who comes in to just immediately go in and take over? So something. You need to do when a review. Clear issues. Something. That was what the minister should have done. If I were to be the minister mm. that I've come, but I think that's what I'm, he's doing. If Koku just mentioned something, Koku just said that the minister came in and paid five million. 2017. I'm sure he was avoiding a judgment debt. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so, so uh, if you have a problem, yeah. why don't you resolve it first before even? Okay. You okay. know. No, we we'll take, we'll take our final break. We, we must focus. <laughs>
and complete it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a huge housing deficit. Okay. So that's not something we should compromise okay. on. Okay. 